They're kind of putting you as the B-side on this. I mean, I see the sign behind. Obviously, Thurman has fought in four and a half years. One fight in four and a half years. But do you feel disrespected in this, being the B-side, clearly, on the paper? Oh, look, uh, I'm the champ at the end of the day. So that's all that matters to me. And I know what I possess and what I'm going to bring. So B-side, A-side, I don't really give it. I don't care about that bullshit. It doesn't bother me. This is going to be your second fight here in the United States. You know, um, why do you feel that you can be a box office sensation here in the U.S. and break through in this market? Because you know what? Um, there's no more old school fighters these days here anymore. They're all a bunch of pussies. They, they fight once a year, and then they they go on two year vacations. I I actually fight. Last year we did three shows with, uh, with Showtime and uh, that was the most any fighter did in, in the whole year. So for me, it's just activity. I'm willing to fight anyone uh, and uh, I do damage when I get in the ring. So man, what did you think when you found out that it was Keith Thurman? Man, I got a video. I was so pumped. Eh? I, was, I was so excited, full of energy. It's, it, the whole occasion is, is, is something that you dream as a young kid. So for me to be performing at this stage with a caliber of opponent like Keith Thurman, uh, to have someone like that on your resume, it's, 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 it's good. Do you think you're going to get the, the credit because you mentioned activity, you fought three times and he hasn't fought for a while, so I mean, moving up in weight, you know, it's a big name, mm. um, it's only off to Manny Pacquiao, Razor Thin Club, so do you feel like the boxing fans are going to give you the, the credit for this win or is that just boxing in general? Oh look, I, don't, I really don't care about the critics. You know, he's he's the one that's going to be in trouble, uh, not me. You know, um, I can just keep fighting who I can. You know, um, there's a, a list of names. I feel like I'm John Wick, and there's a list of names <laughs> that I'm just trying to tick, tick, tick. And, I, and I'm like a grim reaper. I'm holding the, holding it, and um, again, Keith Thurman will be just another name on the on the John Wick hit list. Who else is on that hit list? And man, there's plenty. I want I want the big names. I want the best fights. Uh, I'm not scared of no one. No, I'm not scared of no one. Lubin said you're avoiding him to take a lesser fight. Who? Lubin? Lubin. Bro, I was preparing for him for seven weeks already, man. I've been preparing for a Southpaw for seven weeks. And then I get the call that uh, Lubin outpriced himself and this and that. Well, what am I supposed to do? You know? And then they call me the next day and say, Keith Thurman, T-Mobile Arena, booked. I'm like, how good's this? It doesn't get any better, you know? When you think like give you the upper hand in this fight, do you believe that? Activity, momentum, that's that that builds up everything. Of course. Of course. He's he's been I don't know what he's been doing, two years honeymoon probably, I don't know. Do you think a, a win over Thurman is gonna entice, you know, Terrence Crawford uh, maybe to face you? Because I know that's been on your head list. Yeah, well me I, I respect Crawford. I think he's uh one caliber of a fighter, but we were in negotiation to fight. Uh, but this this fight came across first and uh, uh, I think me and Crawford will definitely collide in the future for sure, 100%. What Tim, about, uh, what does it feel for you to be the main attraction for PBC's first show on Amazon? To make your yeah. to make your grand coming out party in the U.S. soil like this? Uh, what does it feel yeah. to have that backing from PBC? Honor. It's an honor, man. Honestly, like, you can only start a streaming platform once, you know? And... Uh, I get to do it with them, and it's a, it's an honor. Um, and I want to do it in spectacular fashion, you know, not just uh, a victory or tippy tappy victory. This is this is going to be spectacular. Does this kind of also uh, provide a preview of the big fights that they've promised to you moving forward? Of course, you know, there's so many names. The 154 pound uh, division is is red hot right now. Besides Charlo. He's, he's, I don't know what's going on with him. He's long gone. Uh, but it's interesting. you got Spence moving up. I'd definitely love a fight with him one day. Um, even, uh, I can move up to 160, even 168, man. I'm not afraid. You know, I'm a throwback fighter. I'm not afraid. I'll fight anyone. I don't give a shit. You want to throw you your name in the Canelo hat too? Oh, I'd love to, man. I'd love to. Me and Canelo, I'd love to, you know. I'd love to. What do you think about Canelo and Benavides if it happens? Canelo Benavides. Look, I'm a big fan of Benavides. I think he's an absolute monster, absolute animal. Uh, if they were to fight, um, my hand would be on, uh, my brain would be on uh, Benavides. When you talked about Spence, um, when you broke the news about his eye, the cataracts, uh, just what were your thoughts on that? Um, 
any concerns on maybe his career, maybe a fight with you might yeah. from that? Well, no, I think he's all right. I think, he'll, I think that stuff will recover. Uh, I, I don't think Spence has ever been the same after his car crash. Uh, even with the, with the Terence Crawford fight, all praise to Terence, of course, but it, it looked like it wasn't the same uh, Spence. Uh, he was off in, in, in every every bit of every way possible. That's just in my in my opinion. How do you feel about fighting in America? Man, this is what I was. This is what you know when you're born. This is the reason I'm born. You know, uh, I loved Australia. It was great, but this is where it's at, man. And I'm I'm I'm, I'm blessed to be able to be doing this and uh, I'm calling a zoo USA because this is the takeover. Can you take us through your your regimen, your training schedule, what that's going to look like as your new home base in uh, yeah. the United States moving forward? Yeah, I'll be I'll be training in Vegas. Uh, eight weeks camp starts. Uh, I've been prepping already for what a month, uh, eight weeks already. So um, eight weeks, get quality sparring in, uh, and then get the job done. You've been active fighter. Three fights last year looked great in all of them. Thurman hasn't fought in two years. Do you think ultimately the secret to the sauce is going to be you being the active, fresher, younger fighter, no. and just outworking him? No, it's not. That's part of it, but there's also other parts, and it's just going to be I'm that much better, and mm -hmm. he's he's gonna he's gonna realize it. Um, I'm gonna do what Pacquiao didn't. And let's knock him out. There, there, there's a really big welterweight, uh, you know, at some point he's going to enter 154, Ron Ennis. Yeah. Is, the, is that fight, do you see that, you guys clashing one day? Yeah, one day for sure, man. One day for sure. Uh, once he moves up, look, I'll be moving up to 160 as well, you know, so um, I've got maybe a year and a half left, maybe a year at 154. I'm going to accomplish all my goals, uh, try as many big fights uh, as I possibly can. And then uh, we'll move on to 160, 168, who knows? You think um, the fact that you didn't get the other Charlo, that, that might put you in a position to get the bigger Charlo, Jamal versus Jamal? I told you, I'll fight anyone. I don't care. But just want to excite one, like, a little bit more? Put both Charlos on the same night, actually, man. They can tag team each other and I'll go by myself. What do you want to appreciate?